Back at the plasma table. Chase this time. Was it was it, it was your dad last time, wasn't it? Yeah, that's why everything went slow. So we're uh, we're gonna do the ski. Beautiful. Can't, can't, you, see can't you tell? Beautiful. So we're gonna cut the ski out of this and then continue on after with more things. I don't know what I'm doing, but Jay seems to, and that's what matters. So again, just common everyday tools that every man should have in his garage. Right, Chase? For sure. Oh yeah, definitely a do-it-yourself. If you're it. rich, I'd go for it. Let's do it. Just like that, easy peasy. Once you weld that out. Man, I forgot my good camera again, so I'm stuck on my phone. Here's the nose ski. I'm not 100% sure I like it, but I might. Ooh, I should focus on what I'm looking at. So it's definitely unconventional. Definitely unconventional. Um, but for what I need it to do, it might work. But we're gonna explore that more in a later video. We're getting ready to take the beaver to the airport. Look, it's an Owen. So we'll, uh, we'll say hi to Owen in just a second. Hi, Owen! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <funny>. You're laughing. <laughs> what do you think of the um, the, the pontoon? Uh, that it's a pontoon. Works. It might work. See, here's the thing: it's not going to let snow collect on it, yep. which I had a problem with in the past. Mm -hmm. My only thing is, is the axle far enough back so that when I push it, it looks like it might be. Far enough back. On the ski so that when you push down, there's more snow in front of the axle than behind the axle so that it wants to push up, it doesn't want to push down. Or you're going to have some sort of bungee though. Oh, absolutely, yes. The bungee will be there to hold no, it while it's it flying. Enough. But you want it set up so that whenever... The weight on it pushes the ski up. Right, so whenever you're on the snow, you, it it, the tip like always goes... Far back. It might... Well, it might... It, it, yeah. Well, well you, you know what though, you get it... We get it to the airport on the snow. We're gonna we're gonna see. We can kind of pick up the back. And yeah. Put pressure on the front as we push it in the snow and see. And we'll see how it does. Yeah. So yeah, it's not pretty, but it, if it works, I'm happy with it. It's super light. You should like. Oh yeah. It's like there's. Yeah, it's eighth, I think. And then I'm gonna put the uh, the HDPE whatever stuff on the bottom to really slick it up. So. Anyway, that's sort of an update on the no-ski, and also we're getting ready to take the beaver over to the airport, so this is the last time we'll going see it in the home. shop. It's going home, finally. So, we're just waiting for Scott to get here. So anyway, I wasn't planning on doing anything, but because nobody was here, I figured I'd do a little thing, so this is probably it. I think this will be the end of the no-ski video, and the next video should be, hopefully, wings going on, and then flying, because that'd be cool. I like flying. Get them wings going. <laughs>